Dr. Walsh did much to advance our understanding of the neurovascular structures surrounding the prostate with his landmark dissections back in the 1980s. However, we still have much to learn about the precise etiology of erectile dysfunction following radical prostatectomy, and in particular, the functional anatomy of the complex neural structures surrounding the prostate. Without this knowledge, the perfect nerve sparing technique will remain elusive. In recent times, other studies have suggested that cavernosal nerves may extend across the anterior surface of the prostate and that therefore we should be preserving the fascia surrounding the anterior surface. Our previous studies have concurred with Walsh's original studies, suggesting that the predominant neurovascular bundle is located posterolaterally in the groove between the prostate and rectum. In this paper, we performed anatomical microdissection of four male adult cadavers to characterize the immunohistochemical nature of sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves surrounding the prostate. Details of our methodology and results are in the full paper in this month's BJUI. In summary, although we found that about a quarter of all nerves ran across the anterior surface of the prostate, only a tiny minority of these were parasympathetic nerves likely to be related to cavernosal innervation. The predominant neurovascular bundle was located in the classic posterolateral position and, interestingly, exhibited a distinct fascial architecture with three separate compartments. This may support the use of incremental nerve sparing techniques. We do hope you enjoy this manuscript.